You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Today I have a fairly familiar face in Brockton, known for politics, but uh, we're not talking politics today. We're talking Brockton High School Alumni Association. Uh, golf tournament. The golf tournament, yes. It's, uh, it's actually to benefit the, the football program. We're working with uh, a lot of the boxer football alumni to organize our 20th annual golf tournament, and we've, we've, we've moved it back to Brockton, and we're, we're trying to make it the best, the best one we've ever had. Okay, date? August 14th. Okay. What day is that? Do we know? That's a Friday. A Friday. Well, what, nice better, what better day in the summer than to Start take every Friday off and do golf yeah. tournaments? There's a million of them going Fridays on. Fridays and Mondays. You can sandwich the weekend that way. So let me make sure I'm straight. It's, it's not the Alumni Association. It's the... The Football Alumni. Football Alumni yes, Association. Yes, okay. Yes. And uh, it, you said you moved it back to Brockton. Does that mean DW Field? Yes, it's a DW Field. Okay. Uh, it's an 8:30 shotgun start, mm -hmm. and uh, we're we're looking to to fill the field. So we want as many supporters as we can get. What do you need to um, to to fill it up? I mean, what's the capacity? Do you know? Oh, we could have. We it, I'd love to have 144 golfers. We could go a little higher, but. Uh, uh, 144 is kind of a stretch goal for us right now. And for someone like me that knows absolutely nothing about golf, mini golf is my speed. Just so <laughs> you know, what it's it's it, what is it fours? Yes, we're but our strategy is we're we're looking for people to get foursomes. We're looking for team captains to get foursomes for us, uh, and it's 125 dollars a golfer. It's really super cheap for a for a golf tournament nowadays, and we're trying we're we're trying to ramp this up, raise as much money as we can for the program, and uh, make sure everyone has a good time. So um, who's involved? Who are some of the other players that you're teaming up with to get this to happen? I've been uh, meeting very, very regularly with Peter, Coach Peter Colombo, mm -hmm. uh, with uh, Matt, Matt Campbell, also a coach, and uh, Rich, Bloom, Rich Bloomstein, he's the equipment manager, along with the, the boxer football alumni regulars, Tom Coots, uh, Paul Marion, mm -hmm. and uh, Brett Gormley. Well, boxer alumni and, and football in Brockton are pretty synonymous. Once you're once you're bitten by the football bug, you're bitten by the football bug forever. Yeah, and you know the the, the program has changed over the over the past few years. We don't we don't have the demographics that that are going to allow us to have uh, powerhouses like we have in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, what we need to do is we, we we need to develop our program as we go along. We need to compete with the, the Catholic schools that uh, that the program uh, plays against. It's not only being competitive on the field, to, it's, it's actually teaching young kids, young, young men, uh, leadership, teaching them how to, how to work as part of a team. And we're also, we, the, the program prides itself on getting most of the kids into college. Mm -hmm. uh, that's something that usually, it, I mean, it, it didn't happen a lot in the past. The, the coaches weren't working hard to make sure kids were placed in college programs and getting scholarship money for college programs. But that's something the Brockton football program prides themselves in, uh, selves in now mm -hmm. is getting kids into college. And if we, if we want to continue to do that, we need to maintain a, a strong competitive program uh, am among the teams that we, we play right now. And the seasons changed quite a bit because the MIA got involved and you have the, the, the tournaments later on the season, which yeah. is... Yeah. It's, it's not our favorite, to be perfectly it's, honest it's, with you. It's very, it's kind of confusing because mm -hmm. we have we have a schedule, and right now there's three home get three home games on the schedule, and, mm -hmm. and and then there's three playoff games, and then there's a Thanksgiving game, and then another playoff, and then the Super Bowls. It's it's right. It's confusing, and if you if it it really hurts attendance because if say you lose the first week of the playoffs. The other games don't matter, and attendance is down. And you don't get the you don't have as much gate because exactly. it used to be there were ten games, and five of them were home, and five of them were away. I think the first game this season is at Fitchburg. Yeah, so yeah, if I'm not mistaken, and and we don't even go up to Fitchburg. We get the recording from the other yeah. cable station. Nowadays, it's great because you can pull it off of YouTube or something <laughs> like that. So you don't have to figure out how to uh, literally bicycle tapes yeah. or DVDs or whatever. Yeah. But it, it's kind of we we love covering the football here, and it's it's tough. Yeah, and that's that's something that um, Peter decided to do this year because he he looked at the schedule and the, with a shortened regular season schedule, Brockton was playing more Catholic school teams than Catholic conference teams were playing, mm -hmm. which is kind of silly. Uh, so we eliminated the St. John's game and added Fitchburg back. Okay, it's you're taking one tough team and adding it, replacing it with another tough team. There's no softballs sure. in the schedule. True. Uh, True. So uh, unless you want to include Durfee. But yeah, right, right, <laughs> right. How long have you been? Have you been involved all these twenty years? I mean, uh, what, nope. what, 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 do you want to tell me what graduating year you were? Nineteen eighty-eight. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, so that's Sol I think Bob Sullivan was 88 as well, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. a lot of those folks that are pretty involved in, in the city of Brockton. Shirley Azak was 88 as okay. well. Okay, so you had uh, a lot of people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You love this, right? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. Um, I was involved. I was involved in playing in the tournament off and on. I didn't play every year, but but for the last ten years, I've played. I've played in the golf tournament, and I knew kind of what what the money was going towards supporting the program. We buy uniforms, buy uh, recording equipment, buy headsets. But and every once in a while, there's there's certain things that that some of the kids might. If the kid needs a pair, of, if the kid's out there with sneakers and needs a pair of cleats, we buy that for him. Or, or he needs glasses, we buy that for him. Mm -hmm. um, which is a good thing to be able to do. Um, but I just recently I, I got involved with, with the Alumni Association with a Hungry Man Dinner and, and, and trying to actually ramp up everything that we're doing to support uh, not only freshman programs and middle school programs and youth programs, um, but I, I've got, I got to learn the inner workings of the demographic that we're working with now and the kids that we're working with that didn't grow up playing football. Uh, mm -hmm. They grew up playing soccer. Right, uh, right. But the thing is, once they start playing football, they love it, they want to play. Um, so but, but what I mean, the demographics have changed. We don't have the kids that grew up playing football. We don't have... Right. We, we, we're not restocking every year. We're, we're building all, constantly all the time. So it's, 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 it's much different than it used to be. So it, it, we, in order to support that kind of program and make sure we keep the kids on the straight and narrow and keep them in, on a, in a college-bound uh, track, we need to support the program. Uh, so this is, this is the, golf uh, the golf tournament goes a long way in supporting that, that, pro that, that process. Okay, so I'm going to let you be the salesman for a minute. I think we've got about two minutes left, if I'm not mistaken. Look right at the camera. Tell the folks out in, in, in our viewership <laughs> area why it's important to be involved in this. It's important to be involved in the Boxer Alumni Golf Tournament to support the Brockton High Football Boxer pro uh, fo uh, Program, the football program, to make sure that, that our kids have the best advantages to compete against, against the Catholic Conference schools and the other, the other schools that uh, a, a school like Brockton has to compete against. Uh, without, without our support, uh, the, the program the cannot reasonably compete against, against the Everett's, against the, the St. John's, against the, the Zavarians and the BC Highs. Perfect. Um, just to reiterate the date and time, it's Friday, August 14th, 2015, the 20th annual BHS Boxer Alumni Golf Tournament. Uh, foursomes, it's, uh, well, it's $125 a golfer. Um, real quick, is there a website or a phone number that we can give out? My, you know? my phone number, 508-559-5039. Okay. Or uh, Craig Pina, all one word, at gmail.com. There you go. Thanks for coming on, right. Craig, and thanks for doing what you're doing. It's important right. for the kids. Thank you very much. Okay. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.